uh, hi everyone and welcome back so what I did is we already have this sign up form and the login form and we have populated the firebase configuration I was trying to create a user and then doing the sign in so now you can see that uh, whenever you are entering this username and password we are able to get the, the response from the firebase with the required data which also includes the, the firebase token and all these things right so this is the basic firebase integration we will do these routing redirections or uh, like from sign up to sign in sign into the dashboard page all these things okay this is like a basic landing page we have created not much just uh, some bootstrap and some search bar and all these things okay now our focus let's shift the focus to the backend and the apis part because we can navigate to the dashboard we can navigate to the restaurant page but we need to have a data for it right and we already have the graphql integration with this next js app this is what we are doing now what we need to do the next thing is uh, writing the the database structure entity relationship diagram defining the entities and splitting them into the multiple microservices okay so uh, let's get started on the database design uh, and we can use the same uh, quick BDD I like this so because it it allows us to create a relationship and we can define all the entities here whatever the entities we are going to write for the swiggy clone the restaurant the user the 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 delivery guy the orders payments all these everything we can structure here and then we will just consume those entities using our node.js code and we will expose them through the GraphQL 